Amelia at the library and today I'm going to show you how to make this week's STEM project. This week we're going to be making salt dough fossils. So we're going to talk a little bit about dinosaurs and about scientists who study dinosaur bones. Do you know what those are called? Scientists who study dinosaur bones are called paleontologists. And we're going to learn a little bit about fossils and make our own fossil using some ingredients in this week's Take and Make Kit. All right, let's make a fossil. So I'm going to use some extra materials that I have at home to make this craft. Um, I have some water over here. I have a teaspoon measuring spoon. If you don't have one, we can kind of test out our experiment and uh, play around with how much water we add. But I recommend using a teaspoon measuring spoon if you have one. I have a paper plate, a spoon, and a cup to mix my salt dough in. And of course, I have my take and make kit. Now inside your take and make kit, remember you have your container of salt and your container or your baggie of flour and you'll have a dinosaur. In my bag I have a rhinoceros so we're just going to pretend that he's a dinosaur for today but in your bag you have a dinosaur. When you're making your fossil you can uh, choose if you want to put your dinosaur laying flat or if you have a really big dinosaur you may just want to do a fossil of his feet and get some footprints in your salt dough. So it's totally up to you, but I'm going to show you how to mix together your salt dough. All right, so your salt is pre-measured for you and you have two tablespoons of salt in this container. So I'm going to go ahead and pour all of my salt into my cup. Okay, so you can see my salt in there. And next I'm gonna pour my flour into my cup. Let me move my plate out of the way. All right, I'm gonna pour my flour in here. And this is a quarter of a cup of flour. It's already pre-measured for you, so you just have to dump it in. So there's my salt is on the bottom and then my flour's on the top. I'm gonna take my spoon and go ahead and mix the two together before adding my water. Okay. Now, if you have your table, your teaspoon to measure your water, you're gonna put five teaspoons of water in your uh, mixture here. If you don't have a teaspoon, you can slowly add water to this and just watch the consistency of your salt dough. Put it right on the table and I'm gonna stir this all together. So you should get a consistency that looks kind of like Play-Doh. If you notice that you have a lot of leftover flour, go ahead and add some more water to it. And I think I'm gonna add some more water to mine, just, just another teaspoon. So this is actually my sixth teaspoon of water. Put that in there. And the idea is you want it to be more like Play-Doh and less like cookie dough if you were making cookies at home. Sometimes cookie dough is really gooey. You want it to feel more like Play-Doh. Well, I'm even gonna add another thing of water in here. So it looks like I have some extra flour sticking to the bottom of my cup. I'm gonna try to get it all mixed in together. go ahead and start getting some of mine out. So I'm going to scrape all of it off of my spoon, put my spoon over to the side. Okay. 
and start with the dough. So salt dough you should not eat because it only has salt and dough and water in it. Um, if you were to make biscuits at home, you might use flour and water and some salt, but this is very different. This is just for this experiment today. So we're not going to eat this and I've got some extra in my cup here. I'm going to put together. Woo! As you're mixing this at home, you may want to put down a tablecloth. Okay, you can kind of see how I'm getting a nice doughy mixture here. And I do have some extra in my cup. That's okay. If I wanted to add more water to it, I could and add it to this ball of dough. But I think this is a pretty good ball of dough for right now. And for my dinosaur. I'm just going to toss it back and forth, mixing it together with my hands until I get what feels like Play-Doh. Okay. And this is definitely not Play-Doh. This is salt dough. Like I said, we don't eat this. And the reason why we're keeping this the natural color um, of the salt dough is so that it looks really similar to a real fossil. And when dinosaurs lived on the planet, um, they lived and then they died and their bones were buried in the sand and they became fossils. So our salt dough is going to look very similar to the sand that their bones were preserved in. All right. I'm going to set my cup out of the way and you can see my salt dough. I'm starting to uh, shape it into a circle and you want to keep your circle kind of thick. Okay, you can see how thick mine is. That's the side of mine. So it kind of looks like a biscuit before I put it in the oven. And I want it nice and thick because my next step is to squish the dinosaur or in my case, this rhinoceros down into the salt dough. And I'm going to use the side of my rhinoceros and press it into my fossil dough. Okay, and press it in. You'll notice it'll kind of squish out a little bit and that's okay. I'm gonna leave my rhinoceros in the salt dough until it dries completely. When the salt dough dries, it will be really hard and I can pop the plastic animal um, out from it and I can use the animal in another activity or just to play with outside. But you may notice that my rhinoceros, part of his head is not on the fossil dough. Now this is pretty cool because this makes our craft very authentic. When paleontologists who find dinosaur bones um, dig in the dirt and they're looking for dinosaur bones, sometimes they uncover just part of the dinosaur to start off with. And then they have to carefully brush away the dirt with paint brushes or brooms or very, very small brushes to get the dirt out from the bones. So in my um, salt dough example here, my rhinoceros, his head's not totally there. So that may mean that the paleontologists are just going to have to look a little bit harder to find the top part of my dinosaur. I hope you had fun with this activity. If you were trying this at home, make sure to take a picture and send it to the email address on the next slide to be entered to win our monthly giveaway. Have fun.